This is the final part of the life of Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia. Continuing with a quote from Captain Ivy Spetanov, quote, in her pockets there was also a lot of rounds of sweet things, creme brulee. She gave us a lot of them and ate herself all the time. I saw her love for sweeties, but the wounded were not allowed to offer something to the Grand Duchess. One day, someone brought me a box of Japanese cherries and sugar. I left the box open on my table. Anastasia saw them with great pleasure, ate some of them, and was looking around. Can or not one of her sisters see her? End quote. February 1917 soon came around, and during the height of the revolution, Anastasia and her siblings all came down with the measles. And also during this time, Nicholas had abdicated the throne, and the entire family were placed under house arrest at Soskoye Selo. This was also the year Anastasia turned 16 in June, the only one of the sisters to turn 16 after the revolution. The family stayed in Soskoye Selo until August 1917, where they were transferred to a town in Siberia called Tobolsk, staying in the governor's mansion. During her stay in Tobolsk, she wrote a summary of Evelyn Hope of Robert Browning's poem Evelyn Hope in English. Quote, a young girl who was Evelyn had just died. She was lying in a coffin, very pretty. All her things were in the same place, nothing was changed, and even the powers which she gathered stood in the glass, but was beginning to fade. When she died, she was six, only 16 years old. There is a man who loved her without even seeing her, but knew her very well, and she heard him also. He never could tell her that he loved her, and now she was dead. But still, he thought that when he and she will live their next life, whenever it would be that. Nicholas, Alexandra, and Maria stayed there until April 1918, the month that they will make their final journey to their final destination, Ekaterinburg. Anastasia, Olga, Tatiana, and Alexei stayed behind at Tobolsk with servants and tutors until May 1918, where they make their final journey to their sisters and parents abroad the ferry, Durus. Anastasia taking her beloved caviar, King Charles' dog, Jimmy, with her. Jiliak and Gibbs did not join them in Ekaterinburg. My friend Katninberg was different. The girls had learned how to break bread and had to do their chores and laundry. Alexander Shukhin, one of the Epatiev house guards, remembered Anastasia as, quote, very friendly and full of fun, end quote. Anotur, guard, com commented of Anastasia, quote, a very charming devil. She was mischievous and I think rarely tired. She was lively and was fond of performing comic mimes with the dogs as though they were performing in a circus, end quote. There, she and her family remained until the early hours of July 17, 1918, when the entire family were shot dead along with their other residents of the household in a cellar of the Apatheev house. Anastasia's very short life of 17 years had come to an abrupt and horrible end.